Hey AMZ Scout fans and friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the AMZ Scout Amazon Super URL tool. I'm going to show it to you in a step by step and an easy to follow manner. So by the end of watching this video you'll understand exactly what this tool is, how it works and how you benefit from it as an Amazon seller. Now my name is Vava Evan, I'm a seller on Amazon, been selling there since late 2016, still selling on Amazon US and also moved to Amazon Canada recently, which is pretty exciting. So I'll be delivering this video to you and hopefully you like it. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to the MG Scout YouTube channel. So let's start the video. Now in order to get to the Amazon Super URL tools page, you're gonna have the to click on the link down in the description of this video and then you can either follow along and play along if you're on your computer but as you wish so yeah let's start now amazon super url tool what is that so create smart links that boost your amazon search ranking and increase product sales so essentially you can send these links that we're going to be creating in a bit to your customers to different email lists you have and then you can promote your products on amazon to these people okay and they're different or else we can create different ways we can help our customers get to Amazon and buy from us. So let's continue here. So it says, optimize your organic search positions, improve your listing visibility on different keywords to get more visitors and sales. So essentially with these URLs, you can again send them to your customers or to other people, customers, to other email lists or different lists of buyers in order to improve your listing visibility, to get seen more on Amazon. That means you'll get more sales more visitors to your products if you have a good listing of course if you have a good product right so next also it will boost your conversion rates refer users from your pre-landing pages uh, pre-landing pages essentially is what i meant when you send people to different landing pages where they can buy the product essentially with these urls right and add campaigns directly to your products added to cart on amazon i'm not exactly sure what they meant here but essentially what they meant is that with these different URLs, you can help yourself boost your conversion rate because you will send people to your product and they will buy the product from you and you will get conversions. That means more sales. And then increase your sales. Give users direct links to several of your products at once. So there's also a URL that gives like different products to your users. And instead of just blubbering, let me show you how it works in action. So here we are down in this place. Again, as I mentioned, the link down in the description to that kind of page. So we have different URLs. Let's start from the first one. The first one is two-step URL via brand. Direct users to search results that only include products from your brand. Define the results further by also entering keywords. If someone buys your product after clicking the link, it will improve your organic search results for these keywords. So pretty much you will include a keyword in this URL. It will refer people to your product and then you're gonna get sales if they buy. So let me show you how it works. So for the first one, two-step URL via brand, we have to choose your marketplace. And as you can see here, AMZ Scout Super URL Generator works on Amazon.com, Canada, France, Germany, India, Italy, Spain, COUK is England, well, essentially United Kingdom, right? And AU, that's Australia, right? So let's start from Amazon.com. Yes, most of us probably sell there necessary but yeah so how do we structure the school url what will we need how does it work so first in order to create our url we'll need mandatory brand name and keywords so let's go to amazon and choose a brand name let's choose the product that's called kitchen knife all right let me just type in kitchen knife here and we're gonna pull the brand name and the keywords so let's work with this brand let's work with the imarku brand okay so how do you pull the brand name Okay, usually it's gonna be in the title, okay? Or sometimes it's gonna be in other places, but most likely it's gonna be in the title here, okay? So that's Imarco, or here under the bullets, actually under the title, we have to get the brand name, as you can see. You need brand and keywords, okay? So you get the brand here, either in the title, either down here, eh, kinda depends. So once we have this one, Yes, we're gonna add it here. We're gonna copy paste it to the mandatory field and then the keywords. So which keywords do you want to rank for? So let's say if that's a kitchen knife, let's do kitchen knife. And then we also have minimum price and maximum price. Now you can, as it says here, it's optional, but I'll tell you one thing. So if you have two products that are kitchen knives and both will appear in the URL, then price will be like another factor to narrow down the search even more. Let me explain you what does that mean. So let's say we created the mandatory fields. We're gonna click on create link and then we're gonna click on open. Okay, so this URL was generated as you can see and we click on open. So let's see what happens. Now, 
It sent us straight to Amazon and we can see 16 results for kitchen knife. Now, as I mentioned before, yes, our goal with the URLs is kind of to lead the people to buy the product from you, right? So if uh, we are sending an email to a list or we're advertising our product anywhere and we want them to buy this specific knife, this is gonna be a bit problematic because you see there are many other products here. And why? Because we used only the brand name and the keyword. So for this keyword and with this brand name, only these will appear. As you can see, the uh, keyword appear here in the search and we have 16 results. So that's too many, right? Now what we can do further is we can use price in order to narrow it down even further. So let's see which, let's say we wanted to kind of advertise this knife, you know, the one that costs $39.99. Now, as you can see, there are two of them here, but let's see what happens. So if we type in $39.99, minimum and maximum price, all right? If you want this range, we're gonna click on create link, and then we're gonna click on open. As you can see, now we have only two results of the knives. Now, why do we have two results? Because the price here is $39.99 in both of them. So what I'm telling you is if you're trying to promote the product with this specific URL, better change the price to be unique for your own brand and also for the unique, for your unique price. So in this way, we can do it. So for example, again, let's go back to the, uh, you know, for example, we're gonna use this URL to find this product, to find this knife set. So it's $219.99. So 219.99, if I can say that, right? And then we're gonna create a link for this one and boom, only this one appears, you see? So we narrow down the search by the price and by the brand name, okay? So that's pretty much how this first URL works. And you can send again this URL to promote your products in social media and email lists and in many other different places. And then people will come here and they will have the chance to click on your product and buy it. Another thing I can tell you is that you see the page here is pretty clean. So if you send someone towards this page, it's gonna be pretty clean and people are not gonna be kind of confused on what to click, okay? So that's a pretty good URL. Now, the next one is two-step URL via ASIN. Let's see how it works. So how does it work? It's two-step URL via ASIN. So we have pretty much the same thing, brand, keywords, and ASIN. What is brand? Again, let's pick Imarco, okay? If that's the knife, we have the brand name Imarco. Let's, let me just copy it, okay, into the name. Keywords, again, let's use kitchen knife, just the keyword that we want to promote, the keyword we want to promote in search. In, in search means that if we, again, use this URL and people will buy, it will help promote this specific keyword. So we will be showing higher on Amazon for this specific keyword. And then the ASIN. ASIN is right in the top here. That's the ASIN. The ASIN is a specific number on Amazon. Usually it goes on the search kind of um, URL on Amazon, on the on the, the one that your actual Amazon provides you. So that's amazon.com slash the name of the product usually, then slash DP, and then there's gonna be this ASIN, this number. So, well, sometimes you can also find it down here in the, uh, how to say, in the product information part. You can see there's ASIN here as well. So you're welcome to find either there or here. And then the same thing, you can actually use it without the ASIN itself. Again, we can only, only use the brand name and the keywords, but that's not that good. We'd rather use the ASIN because if we use the ASIN, boom, it will again show only the ASIN, only this specific product with this specific keyword, with this specific special identifying number with this ASIN. And again, we see perfectly clean page here for the knife. Okay. That's the second URL, pretty much kind of the same one as the first one, but Again, it's a bit easier to narrow down if you want to use the ASIN and no price here. In the previous one, it was also price and only the brand name and pretty much the same result. They both lead you to the product and the, how to say, the biggest will that we have is that people will buy it. That's what actually is going to help us promote it. They need to buy the product. That's really, that really helps it. So the next one is two-step URL via secret keyword. Refer users to search results for specific keywords. Use your ASIN as hidden keywords to ensure product is the only one that appears. Let's see how this one works. So we have the ASIN here. Let's use the pretty much the same ASIN. Okay. And keywords again, kitchen knife. And let's see how this URL works. So let's create a link, click on open. And then it leads us to this page. And what we see here, we see the product that we were using and we see some other things that might mislead our customers. We have an ad here. We have some other products here and some different products. So next one is canonical URLs. Send customers directly to your listing page by using your ASIN. Add keywords into the URL to improve your Amazon organic search ranking. So let me explain you how this one works. Here we actually add the ASIN and some keywords, actually five keywords. Let's add say kitchen knife. 
I'll just do random ones. Let's see what happens with this one. So the URL we create here is, as you can see, it's just amazon.com slash all the keywords slash the DP slash the ASIN. Pretty much similar to what we've seen previously when I was showing you where to get the ASIN. Let's click on open here and see what happens. Now, the thing that happens here is it leads straight to the product page and there's no keyword here in the search bar, as you can see, it doesn't appear here, but the keywords appearing in the URL itself on top of search. Now, some people say that this kind of URL can help you rank better on Google as well, like on search engines, and it's more clean URLs. You can see you don't have keywords in the search here. So some people might be a bit caution, you know, they might think like, oh, well, I don't want to use any specific keywords to lead people to keywords to play with the Amazon algorithm. So rather, maybe I'll skip this and just send them straight to my product page. And then by using these keywords in the URL itself, I'm going to improve my also ranking on Amazon because people will buy my product, but also it will help me rank on Google or other search engines. And it's up to you to test out. Okay. I don't have that many tests to say that it works specifically, but as for maybe a cleaner URL, that is maybe cleaner because we don't use any keywords here, as you can see. And it leads straight to the product page. Also, I'll tell you that once you're sending these URLs to people, rather don't just send it to random people because if someone enters your URL and does not buy, it is not gonna be that good. Your conversion rate will drop down. It's gonna be a session of a person that entered, but he didn't buy it, so that's not that good. So that's the canonical URLs. And yeah, you can try using it. It's again, more cleaner URL. And it is said that it might help you rank better in search engines outside of Amazon, but also on Amazon, of course. Next one is add to cart. Direct users straight to their Amazon shopping cart with your products already added. This reduces the steps they need to take and increases conversions. So let's see how it works. We have the ASIN here and we have the quantity. So let's say quantity one, only one product. Let's see what it means. So this one is gonna help us get the product to your cart. Let's open it up and let's see what, what's going on here. So as you can see, this URL leads this specific product with this specific quantity, which is one, straight to your cart. And why is that good? Because it also reduces the steps they need to take. So straight away, they gonna click here, continue and add to cart. And that's much easier for the buyer. And that's also a pretty useful URL because it leads straight to the cart. And also it does not use any keywords. So if you're again a bit concerned about using any keywords in your URLs, you can just send this URL for people and they will go straight to the cart and they can add it to their cart and buy the product. Okay. And also apply different coupons if there are any for your product there as well. So that's add to cart URL. Again, pretty clean, pretty straightforward. You can use different qu quantity here as well for the products. So if you're having some promotion for two products, then you can send quantity of two. There's also a saying that generally having more add to carts can help you rank on Amazon. So when people specifically just add to cart, it also helps your product kind of go up. I just prefer to have them buy the product generally. So yeah, that's the add to cart URL. And the next one is buy together URL. Let's see how it works. So this one is refer customers right to their Amazon shopping cart with several of your items already added. Let's see how it works. So we're gonna add one ASIN, the Imarco, and have one kind of kitchen knife there, right? And let's close this one, let's close this one, and let's uh, add some one of their uh, other products of this guy. Okay, let's use another ASIN. Let's take this cleaver, for example, get inside here, grab the ASIN over there, and also add this ASIN and say, we're gonna add quantity one. We're gonna click create link and click on open. So we are pretty much in the same situation. We're in the cart and we have the knife, the first one, the first Marco knife and the second one. So we have pretty much two products in the cart. Why is that good? That is good, if, again, if you have any promotions for two products or something like that, but also if you want to create this pretty cool frequently bought together field, let me show you, it's usually under the product here. As you can see, frequently bought together. So if you create a few sales with these products inside your cart, right? For this one and this one, usually if it's younger products, it's gonna be much easier to have them appearing one next to each other here in the frequently bought together place. And in this way, you can get more sales eventually for these products. So in this way, you can do that with this URL because you'll send these promotions to your customers. They will buy both of the products and will show the algorithm that people are buying them together. Hence, it will also improve the rankings, but also it will, maybe it will show them in frequently bought together. You have to do 
and test out a few sales. It doesn't happen after the first one. Maybe it will actually happen after the first one. Maybe after the fifth one. It's gonna be up for you to testing. But also on younger products, on matured ASINs, it's gonna be hard to get some product to be frequently bought together with another one. We have to get more sales for that. But for newer products, you don't need that many. Next one is targeted ASIN search URL. Use your ASINs to send people to an Amazon search results page that only includes a list of your products. Let me show you how it works. So let's add the first ASIN. Let's add this ASIN as well. And uh, let's add another ASIN. What's gonna happen here? And let's even add this one, whatever that is. That's a uh, knife sharpener that is, right? What's gonna happen now is once we create this link, it will, actually, let me show you. <laughs> it will just send people to the uh, search on Amazon, but with all the products that you've added. Again, why is that good? You can have different promotions for these three products. For example, you have 50% off for these three. You send people here and you're like, hey, we have a great promotion for our knives and our sharpeners. They're all 50% off. Check them out. Here it is. So they're going to go here and then they have the option to buy these products with your promotions and hopefully it's going to help you rank these products. Okay, so that was the uh, targeted ASIN search URL. If you're enjoying the video, please like it. This way we can understand if you liked it or not. If you don't like it, dislike it and give us some feedback in the comments so we can understand what you like and what you don't like. If you have any questions, ask, I will answer or someone from AMZ Scout will answer. It's going to be our pleasure. So the next one is clean product page super URL. Here we only add the ASIN and that's it. So let me show you how does that work. Click on create link, click on open then. Let me close these tabs. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna get your customers to this page. And why this page is nice, because it has all the pictures here, it has all the reviews, it has all the bullets, it has the bestseller tag, it has the add to cart, and all the fulfilled by Amazon, sold by the customer or actually the brand name. And that's a very nice place to send people because they can read more about your product. So for example, if you're launching a new product and you, again, you don't want to use any keywords in your URLs. You're like, all right, let me just use this one. I'll send people straight here and they're going to have an option to read about my product and hopefully purchase it as well with this URL by AMZ Scout. And my name is Vav Evan. I really appreciate your time today and I'm wishing you an awesome day. May you have many sales and a great life. Bye-bye.